Uh, you know, speaking of eating, I don't know whether I should tell you the story, but this is going to be a very dangerous segment on our show. So get prepared for it. Uh, get all set to, to really go into action here because I have a friend who lives in Paris and he's from New Jersey. And about every two or three months when he's lying in his pad on the left bank, he looks up at the ceiling, he wakes up. He's lying there in a cold sweat because he has this fantastic desire. He can't control it. One night, he got up out of his bed in Paris, jumped into a cab, went to the airport, and six hours later, landed in New Jersey for one thing. One thing. He can't control it. And here is that one thing that New Jersey natives all over the world dream of late at night. It's beautiful. <laughs> My beloved pizza. Pizza. <laughs> what is more New Jersey than pizza? Look at that beauty. Just play those cameras lovingly over this magnificent example of one of the great true art forms that sprang right out of the people of New Jersey. This is a pizza known as the works. I mean, and it means what it says, it's the works. Mushrooms, look at those mushrooms. Look at that cheese sizzle. Italian sausage. Peppers, oh, peppers. And look at that magnificent crust. Onions. This is a pizza all the way, sometimes known to the true aficionados as a full tilt boogie. It's the kind of pizza that drives men mad. In fact, there is a rumor that before long, this sort of thing will be illegal. It's a true erotic experience. It's the kind of thing that, I mean, you know, gets down deep in the marrow of your bones. This is a New Jersey pizza in full flower. Now, if you get close to your television set and inhale deeply, you'll smell the garlic. Oh, oh, oh mamma mia. Pizza, pizza. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how a pizza should be eaten. Now, take, first of all, you remove a slice. Look at that. Now, 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 pull that camera in closely so you can see that slice just the way it is. Now, there are two kinds of pizza. There's the one that has the stiff, hard crust. Then there's the very thin, limp, olive oil soaked crust. Two separate schools of pizza. This happens to be, as you can see, the limp, uh, kind of drifting, soft, erotic pizza. 
it's just dripping with olive oil here. Now, there are several ways to eat the pizza. One way, of course, and we, we don't even want to discuss it on the show tonight, and that's to eat the pizza with a fork. Oh, a fork. That's like drinking beer through a straw. One just doesn't do it if one knows anything about pizza. Now, there are several types. One pizza eater just simply takes the pizza and slowly feeds it down into the sole directly. Then there's another school that, that, that puts the crease in it so as to protect the succulent juices of a truly well-done pizza. This is known as the Lodi crease. See with the finger, and then. What can I say? What can I say? Now, there are other things you have to know about pizza. One thing, pizzas are, are best eaten with various beverages. I'm going to demonstrate to you what is meant by the beverages that are classically drunk with a pizza. Now, if you're a kid, now this is, this is the, the classical kid pizza drink. It is always drunk out of a paper cup. Open it up, you pop the top, you pour the Pepsi. <sighs> it's not my style. That's a greasy kid pizza eater. <laughs> then there is the pizza eater who has gone up the scale just a little, just a wee bit, and he's more serious. This is the Friday night pizza man. He usually drinks beer. Now, if he's elegant, he'll get a, an elegant imported beer like Iron City from Pittsburgh. By the way, <laughs> Iron City beer this month is saluting New Jersey's turnpike. I kind of like that. It says, a salute to New Jersey and its magnificent turnpike. They know where it's at. This is Iron City beer drunk with a pizza. Now, you pour it directly into the stein, allow it to settle for a moment, never pour it down the edge. You get that nice, solid, beautiful Iron City pizza head. Ah. Ho, 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 ho. And you take a little of the pizza. You savor the olives as they go down. Now, we've saved the best for last. If you're truly a serious pizza eater, what can I say? This is Chianti Classico, 1972, from the classical regions of Chianti wine production in Italy. This is a Melini, which is one of the finest of all the Chiantis. One pours it into the glass thusly. After allowing it to breathe, Oh, oh, oh. You savor the color. Ah. Then the pizza is stroked lovingly. It's very erotic. By the way, most pizza eaters often will clean their fingers on the checkered tablecloth. Why do you think the tablecloths are always checkered? Just as you begin to chew the pizza, <sighs> oh, there's nothing like it. Friends, right at this moment now, I want you to get involved. I want you to get involved. The minute our show goes off the air, I want you to turn that television set off, and I want you to jump up, and I want you to run out and get yourself a pizza with anchovies, with sliced mushrooms, with mozzarella cheese. Go on out and get yourself a slice of life. <laughs> ¶¶